Hey guys, so today we're gonna do some little treat making and I just thought I'd take you along. Um, I will link a video from last year that has some great no-bake treats. I think one of the things I'm doing is a version of that, um, but I'm gonna switch up and do a few different more, a few different additional varieties this year. Um, but I've got some almond bark in the white and the, oh, it was a dark chocolate, but regular chocolate. I also might be using some chocolate chips and we're going to start with the white and I'm going to just do melt some of this in the microwave at intervals stirring it so that it doesn't burn and then I'm going to add in some peanuts and broken up pretzel sticks and that's the one that we my family always does every single year um, so I'm going to do a little bit of just a little bit of that and then I'm going to do some other variations I'm going to try to keep the amounts pretty small because one it goes a long way and two i want to try like maybe like four or five different versions and you know we can only eat so much so let's get started All right, so I want to do some without any peanuts. So this is going to be the chocolate one with cranberries and pretzels. Once it's hardened, you just want to break it up, and I'm going to put everything in bags, labeled what's inside. Um, I may go back and make some of these, again, more of certain flavors, but I'm just going to kind of do that, and I'll probably end up um, dispersing these on various trays and plates for different purposes or different people. store this in the refrigerator or the freezer and we're gonna get on to another kind. For this one I'm gonna start with some white almond bark and we're going to start to melt this then once it's partially melted I'm going to add in some peanut butter. Now the recipe I found um, suggested crunchy peanut butter which I do not have and this is an all-natural peanut butter so there's no sugar in it but there'll be plenty of sugar from the chocolate so I'm not worried about it. So I'm gonna put some of this in and then I'm going to um, lightly break up some peanuts. Maybe I'll do that now. Not sure how many to do. I've never done this one before, but. We're just gonna make this a chunky peanut butter. All right, I did that very lightly because I don't want them like broken into smithereens. As soon as the white chocolate is done, um, I'm going to start on this because this is going to be a two-layered one. That's almost melted, not completely. This natural peanut butter is pretty liquidy, at least on top, so I'm going to try to give it a good stir. That one's got a ways to go. Oh, 
this still needs a little more time. You gotta be careful because these bowls get really hot. You can also do this over the stove top, which is probably what I would prefer, but with all of the different ones I'm doing, that's just, yeah, that's just not gonna happen. Chocolate is all melted. I'm just trying to break down the peanut butter. It's not quite as smooth as a regular peanut butter, so just taking an extra step to smush it. All right, now we're gonna make it this chunky. as pretty as I supposed to um, but that's okay it's gonna be great I'm gonna put this pop this one in the fridge and figure out which one I'm gonna do next all right so for this one I melted some of the regular uh, chocolate and I'm going to add in peppermint you can use peppermint um, extract I'm using peppermint essential oil as I say over and over again because I don't want someone to do something that would harm them if you're going to use essential oil Make sure you are using a brand and one that has been approved for consumption. So, if I repeat myself a lot, it's because I do. Or if you think I repeat myself a lot, it's because I do. That didn't really make sense when I first said that. All right, so that's all I'm doing with this layer. And I think I'm going to semi-harden this in between doing the next layer. If it's not fully hardened, I think it'll be fine, but I didn't do it simultaneously like I did the last one, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna pour this out. I don't wanna waste an ounce of this precious chocolate. You don't have to make this completely even, but you know, I'm gonna try. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge while I work on the next layer, but if it's not fully hardened by the time I get to it, I don't think it'll matter. Taking the same amount of the white bark and we're going to melt that. Okay, so I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but I just took some peppermint candy sticks and um, along with some chocolate mint ones that I had, hang on, um, off the tree and I crushed them up pretty fine and I just put them on top of this towel so that I didn't destroy my countertop. When I did the peanuts, it wasn't such a big deal because I wasn't pounding very hard. I'm doing a lot of washing in between because obviously you kind of have to because I'm doing, doing different kinds. So as soon as I get done with one, I just pop it in the sink with some hot water. And then when I have another break, I go over and actually um, wash it. And But if I put it in the sink right away, it makes it quicker. All right, I think that is all melted. Let's get the pan out. If you can see, it's already pretty hard, just this center here that's still glossy. So it cools down pretty quick. You can also put it in the freezer in between, but I just, like I said, I don't have a lot of freezer space. I accidentally stabbed it in the bottom, so I brought up some of the darker chocolate. I'm trying to. I wanted it to just be a white layer on top, but I don't know if that's gonna quite happen, guys. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but nobody that's eating it's going to care. But I accidentally dug down, and obviously the, that which was hardened got soft again once you put something hot on it, but if I could have just spread it out without digging into it, it probably would have been fine. But whatever. All right, now we're just going to sprinkle the candy cane pieces on top. I know these are not very large amounts, um, but like I said, with so many different kinds, 
I didn't want to do too much of one kind. I might have crushed too many candy canes, but that's okay. You can just throw them in something else or throw them in a cup of hot chocolate. Make more of that fluff dip. Or what was it? A uh, peppermint cheesecake dip? Oh my goodness. You guys gotta check that out. That video out. Oh my gosh, that stuff is so good. I actually think I have a tiny bit left in the fridge. I might have to snack on that. Just trying to get the edges. You know, you want every bite to have goodness. Just gonna lightly dab some of this in so that it will harden in with the chocolate. But I don't wanna actually touch the chocolate and pull that up with my finger, so just lightly dabbing, mainly the big chunks. This might be my favorite, but I'm going to put this in the fridge now. you for give my appearance right now not that my appearance is usually much different but um anyways so you can really just do any combination I'm not giving you any like recipes or measurements or anything because really um this is just to give you ideas of different combinations I did get some inspiration off of Pinterest but I didn't actually follow any recipes so I don't really have anything to link for you but um, I will say that if you wanted the peppermint bark to be a little less messy, it's not like super messy, but you could just mix the candy canes in with the white chocolate before spreading it on top of the chocolate, chocolate, the brown chocolate, chocolate. Anyways, but I just wasn't sure if um, the candy cane would be seen as much and I wanted it to be pretty. Um, but it's not like it's all crumbling off, but it's obviously a little bit messier than the others. Um, and another key is to not spread anything too thick that it's hard to break apart or to bite into. So anyways, I am going to be taking that plate to someone. I don't have any Christmas tins or boxes. Just not the year for that, guys. I also decided that I'm probably going to go, well, I have to go to the store anyway, even though I was really hoping to not do that this week, but um, circumstances change and I need to get a few things. So I'm gonna pick up more bark, I think, and do more of all of these because it's really good and I've got some more people I wanna um, give some to, so. Anyways, but um, at least I've got this much done and I thought it'd be fun to show you and give you some ideas. You can really just put anything you like in chocolate and I mean, you can't really go wrong, right? And that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in tomorrow's video or my next one if I'm not able to actually complete Vlogmas, but I'll see you soon.